Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is B from B Pal Picks, and this is going to be our NFL free picks of the week video that we have been doing weekly and sending the range cap a comparison pick. Um, this week, hopefully, he's able to get it out there. We're sending, getting it in a little late, but either way, he's great. Check him out on YouTube. He shares out a bunch of people's picks. You can get a lot of great stuff and resources from him. He does fantastic stuff there, cap or comparisons pick, and we appreciate him for sharing our picks. But let's dive right into it. The 1 o'clock games is uh, Houston Texans versus the Chicago Bears. This is a nothing game, really. Um, third in both of their uh, divisions and minus two spread. This is a game I really wouldn't even touch because the Bears have the better overall team. But obviously the Texans have the by leaps and bounds better quarterback. So if I had to lean, it would be the Texans, but this is honestly a game. The only thing I would bet on this game is under 46. I don't think there's a chance this game's going over 46. Other than that, I wouldn't touch the result. Um, Tennessee and Jacksonville, this is just an obvious one that we can brush right past. Tennessee's going to wipe the floor with Jacksonville. They are going to win by the 7.5 spread. And this game, because of how bad Jacksonville is, is going to be under 52.5 because the only way it's going to be over is if Tennessee scores like 46 themselves. And I don't see that happening. I don't see them blowing them away that much. But Tennessee's going to definitely win that game without much trouble. And the next game at the 1 o'clock hour is another kind of nothing game. The Denver Broncos 4-8 and against the 4-8 and Panthers. Uh, again, this is a game I really wouldn't give you the winner on because this is a game that could go either way two pretty piss poor teams that are not having a good season so I would not uh, bet on the spread I would not bet on the money line on this one this is another one I would just do the under at 44 and a half because I do not see either of these teams offenses getting going to the capacity of getting over 44 and a half total points these have been pretty boring teams to watch and I think that's going to continue on Sunday and we have the Dallas Cowboys at the Cincinnati Bengals. I think that's a game, again, a lot of the games this week are not really the best other than on over and unders to put money on, unfortunately. I do think the Cowboys will beat the Bengals. This will be their first win in a while. So that's one that i will say I would say you can bet on the Cowboys. I don't even know if they're win by more than three and a half, though. I could see with how putrid Dallas has been this being a field goal game. But this will also be under 43 points. So a lot of these nothing games, I think, usually automatically go under, unless if it's teams that actually have a good offense and then their defense is just putrid. Um, like Seattle, for example, um, if they were actually a team that was more even record rather than having a Russell Wilson MVP level quarterback at the helm, they would be an example of a team that could fall into that category. But... We have the Kansas City Chiefs at the Miami Dolphins. Who would have thought this would have been a really good game? I do think the Chiefs are going to be able to win this one, even in Miami. They're just going to be able to be too overpowering. Also, if Mahomes gets any time at the end, he's going to be able to get it done. I think this game, though, will go over, actually, 50 points. I think this will be a more offensive game, and I understand, yes, both of these teams have good defenses. That is for sure. They have, Well, average defenses, good, pretty good average defenses. Um, and then one that's really good in Miami in terms of points. They allow some yards, but they do not give up a lot of points. They're actually second in the league in that. And also, the Kansas City Chiefs are top 10. So, I believe this game, though, will be scoring because you have two dynamic. you got a guy in Gaskin, obviously. you got a guy in um, Tua who's only thrown a seven touchdowns with no picks already. So, I mean, that's obviously a pretty good start and can run with the win. So, you got two great athletic quarterbacks. This is going to be the most exciting game um, of the 1 o'clock hour, and I do think it will go to the Chiefs. It will go over 50, and they will cover the spread as well. The next two games of the 1 o'clock hour, Arizona Cardinals, New York Giants, and Vikings, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, the Cardinals and Giants game, I actually think with how the New York football Giants have been playing recently, it is in New York. I think they're going to be able to continue to carry that along and actually find a way to beat the Cardinals, who all of a sudden, after having a great start, have just been pretty boring recently. Uh, they haven't been the same football team in their last five. They're one and four on a three-game losing streak, where the Giants are on a four-game winning streak, and I think the Giants are going to continue to carry that. They will win by more than two and a half. 
And this game will be over 46 points. That's how I would rank that one. For the last 1 o'clock hour game, Minnesota and Tampa Bay, that is going to go to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I don't think they're covering the 6.5 spread, though. I do think this will be a really close game, the closest game of the 1 o'clock hour, potentially. And it will be under 52.5. So I would take the the Tampa Bay money line and the under 52.5. I don't think they actually are going to cover that 6.5 spread. I think that game could be a field goal, 4.5 point game, what have you. I just don't see them winning by that much in that game. I see that being a close game. The Vikings have been a team after a slow start, have been 4-1 and one in their last five and actually have been rebounding. So I don't think that is going to be an easy game for Tampa by any stretch. Now, we have 405 games. Let's just get this one out of the way right away. New York Jets are going to go to 0-13 as Seattle is going to beat them at home. I think they might even cover the 14 spread, but I that's a risky thing. If you want to put it in, put it in. If not, if, then don't because I'm not going to put my stamp on that. But that's something that they could potentially do. And that game will be over 47 and a half because Seattle offense is probably going to potentially score 35 or more themselves. And now we can move on to the better games of the 4 o'clock hour. Uh, We have Indianapolis at Las Vegas Raiders. I believe this game is actually going to be the Raiders being able to win and actually kind of get going fully. Again, they're 3-2 and two in their last five, try to have a good closeout in their last couple games. I think they will win by more than three points. Um, In terms of the over-under for this game, this is one I wouldn't go on because I been looking back and forth myself so I'm not going to put a stamp on which one it is you can put that in as a play if you so choose yourself Green Bay and Detroit this is of course a rival but not really a game um Green Bay is going to be able to beat Detroit even in Detroit I don't know if they'll cover an eight point spread in Detroit but they'll definitely be able to beat them and this game will go under 55 points now we have the Atlanta Falcons and LA Chargers this is going to be a game Obviously, between, again, this is another kind of nothing, the nothing, one of the nothing games of the 4 o'clock hour. I think the Chargers actually will be able to uh, win this game. I just feel like they're actually going to be able to finally beat a team. They finally have a good matchup to be able to go up against another team that's really not overly exciting, has their weeks, has a very exciting quarterback in Justin Herbert, obviously, over at LA. And then Atlanta has an experienced, wise one in uh, Matt Ryan. But both of these teams just have their weeks. And I think, for whatever reason, I just personally believe this is going to be the Chargers' week at home and they'll get their fourth win to go 4-9. and nine, And then they'll move the Falcons to 4-9. and nine, And they will cover a one-and-a-half spread winning that game. I would stay away from the over-under in a game like that, though. Washington football team and 49ers. That is in San Francisco. This is a big game for Washington. And I think, uh, even though it's in San Francisco, uh, Washington's been a very solid team recently. San Francisco's been 1-4 and four in their last five. I think they're going to continue their woes, and Washington's going to continue their uptick. So Washington will win that game. They will cover the 3.5 spread, and that is another game that is so teeter-totter on the over-under, I wouldn't really touch it. Now, we have, as the last game of the 425 hours, the New Orleans Saints at the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, Of course, as you can see in the background, the Eagles are my team, but um, they're not going to win this game. They're going to struggle again. I think Jalen Hurts might have a decent athletic outing, look really good. He's going to run, have probably, like I think, personally 170 or more passing yards and have a good game manager's game because you're not going to be able to get him going in his first start against the Saints defense. It's a really tough team to put in a guy in his first NFL start, but I do think he will play decent, just not great, and that's no fault to him. It's just you're playing one of the best defenses, and that's going to get the Saints over the hump, make them win by more than seven points, and I think this game will go over the 43 and a half. And now we have Monday Night Football which is the Baltimore Ravens at the Cleveland Browns. We'll go back to the Sunday Night Football because that's a a really good game I want to talk about. 
They're nine and three Cleveland against seven and five Baltimore, who has not been as good recently. Uh, Cleveland, if Baker Mayfield plays like he did last week, is going to continue to dis- or ascend, excuse me, and not look back. So I think that is what's going to happen. They will win by more than two and a half, and they will go over 47 points in that game. That's two good offenses, especially the Ravens' offense is very creative when they can get going, and I think. This is a game, Baker going up against Lamar, we're actually going to see some offense in this game on Monday Night Football. Now we can go back to the Sunday Night Football game, which is Pittsburgh Steelers at Buffalo Bills. The Steelers, of course, got their first loss. The Bills are 9-3. and three. Both of these teams are, of course, first in their division. And I think that the Steelers are going to bounce back from losing a game to make the Bills go to 9-4, and four, and the Steelers will be able to go to 12-1 and one on the season. I think there's a good chance the Steelers lost last week is their only going to be their only one um and it was to a team that has been cruising like we said to washington so i think that the steelers are easily going to be able to actually win this game because they just got the more complete team the bills are still a team that's very good but very good because of great coaching and putting all their guys in the right place i don't think their teams obviously to the level of a steelers team yet with all those experienced cats on that team but that is going to be a win for the Steelers. A cover of the two-point spread and the total 47.5. I think that will go over. So this has been the NFL Free Picks of the Week for BPAL Picks. Have a great, safe, and pleasant week, everybody. Peace out.